Hi YouTube, I'm really excited today. I decided to shoot a little video. I have my cycle day three blood work drawn on October 17th, so that was a little about five days ago now. And I got my AMH levels back and they came back excellent. I won't need a donor egg to conceive. My eggs are fine. I think it's just like my Ari said, my only problem is not ovulating. That's it. And I don't ovulate because of the PCOS. So I'm really, really, really excited, and tonight is the night before my scheduled HSG. If everything goes fine, I should have it done by midday tomorrow. I'm not sure how long it takes, but I'm scheduled to get to the radiology lab in the morning. I'm just really, really excited because then it's just like, oh, my finally, all my weight and all my emotions, the roller coaster, it's all going to be over. The weight is over. Also, um, I want to cover this. I've been on metformin. I'm only able to get up to 500 milligrams a day. I cannot stomach any more of that. And yeah, I am insulin resistant. I just can't stomach metformin. I actually started taking it for the first time in June 2011. I got all the way up to 1500 milligrams and it was a disaster. Total disaster. I was projectile vomiting everywhere and so I went off of it I try to go back down to a thousand nope 500 nope so I stopped it in July 2011 then restarted it November 2011 and I was able to get it to 500 milligrams but that's where I've stayed and I asked my Ari if that's okay she said it's fine 500 milligrams it's pretty much better than nothing and for our purposes here metformin <clears throat> isn't really necessary maybe I'll up my dosage now just in case because I think we're getting ready to start tomorrow really soon I, I'm not sure if I want to go through with IUI during the holiday season simply based off of extreme traffic back and forth it's five hours total to get the whole thing done and traffic from here to the area I'm going to is a nightmare it might be best just to do timed dinner course from home with Famara and go from there. If my HSG is done tomorrow and it comes back clear, we're going to do it. We haven't done my husband's sperm analysis yet simply because I don't think he's a problem. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But he has a child already who's a young child. It's not like he has a teenager. So just thinking and I don't know, just really excited about the AMH levels. I was always concerned about that because I was watching this uh, series on CNN one morning and it said your AMH levels really do tell you a lot about how you'll respond to treatment and your egg quality and you know it's just very important test that I'm glad I passed. So anyway let me see here. Um, I remember I said in my last video that a family member announced their pregnancy, but I also wanted to speak about Facebook. I don't know if anyone on here has had any trouble with Facebook and nosy people and people who don't really understand what's going on with you and they want to be helpful. So every post you make that might hint towards baby making and whatnot, they always want to be like, oh, are you pregnant yet? Are you pregnant yet? Are you pregnant yet? And it's like, no, not pregnant yet. And are you paying for my fertility treatments? If you're so concerned, why don't you join in, pitch in something into the pot and get things going for me? And, you know, I don't know. I've had family members tell me, you know, maybe I should watch what I post on Facebook as if, you know, I'm offending people. But all I'm posting about is my fertility journey. How is that anything that could upset anybody? If you say that I'm, you know, well, what is it? You know, if you say that I'm trying to seek attention or, you know, I don't think, that's why I think infertility is just not understood and it needs to become more mainstream. There's attention seeking and then there's just sharing information. Whoever reads it, reads it, whatever, move on with their life. But some people can't in Facebook because a big, big avenue for drama. I don't know, I just wanted to touch on that because it's just like I posted today on my Facebook. Well, what was it? Cryptically posted about the AMH level of test results and how I got the best news ever from my doctor. And someone's like posting congratulations, like, 
oh, she must be announcing now that she's pregnant. And it's just like, oh my gosh, if I'm pregnant, I'm going to post that I am. I'm not going to be all, I'll just say it. I'm not going to beat around the bush with that one. That's exciting news. But honestly, what can I do? What am I going to say? Oh, no, my AMH levels came back as excellent. Who on my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, is going to know what that means? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, nervous about the HSG. That's tomorrow. Really excited. I'm waiting for more of the CD3 blood test work to come back. So, you know, we're going to wait. And then after um, tomorrow, we'll probably just proceed and do a timed intercourse of HS um, do a timed intercourse in Famara at home just to get the ball rolling. And then in January, proceed with IUI. So I'm just really excited. Everything's going good. Everything's going great. And then we're in a happy place right now. My husband's all just like, well, that's good. That's good news. That's good news. So let's get these other test results in and proceed from there. So I'll probably post a video after my HSG. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel afterwards, though. And I hear it's painful. And I hear that, you know, to take, uh, I need to take 400 milligrams of ibuprofen. I might just take a Vicodin. Just in case. Yeah, so here we go. Just hoping for more good news in the days to follow. And thanks for watching, and I'll be updating after the HSG.